Hospitals are incredibly haunted places. Posted to YouTube in September of 2019, HRJ Paranormal Adventures navigates this hospital. Situated at the foothills of the South Pittsburgh Mountain, the 68,000 square foot hospital was founded in 1959. But the haunting may date back to well before it was built. Unlike Penhurst, there are no reports of mistreatment at this hospital during its operation. But there were reports by hospital employees of paranormal activity, such as inanimate objects moving of their own accord, disembodied voices, and dark shadowy figures, including a seven-foot-tall man on the third floor who is believed to be a former surgeon who practiced at the facility. He's not the only one haunting the third floor. A toddler spirit and an elderly woman have both been observed there. Two other spirits, a janitor and a female spirit, known as the Naughty Nurse, haunt the basement. This has drawn many paranormal investigators to the hospital since it closed in 1998. HRJ Paranormal Adventures manages to capture a few paranormal entities in this video. One is a ghostly reflection that appears twice at 3 minutes 53 seconds, and then again at 3 minutes 58 seconds. Follow the crew on their hour-long investigation of this haunted place, and you might just capture a few more spirit sightings and disembodied voices. Ohm Vlogs has set up a camera at this junction in the middle of the night. What he sees there calls up plenty of questions, and they're without answers. First, he sees this figure walking across the grounds. <sighs> He then sees this figure in red. It's not clear if it's the same person in the security footage. It looks like he lights a candle, maybe for prayer or some other ritual. But it's when this next figure enters the picture that things get really creepy. After a while, she sits on the ground with her flame. When the witch leaves, he heads over to check out what she was burning, and then he finds her. Later, the camera captures her again, crossing the same junction. and he finds this burning. The vlogger thinks this is a witch, performing some type of ritual. I agree that he's probably right. I can't find any other explanation for her movements at night. I'm not sure what she's doing exactly, whether it's good or evil, but I do find it fascinating. Why do some people gotta do such creepy stuff? TikToker Unpopular Notes captured this creep creeping outside someone's house. In 2018, this woman kept hearing strange sounds outside of her bedroom window. It had been going on for three weeks, so naturally, she set up a security camera. This is what she found. She captured the stalker peering into her bedroom window. When he spotted the security camera, he quickly left but returned to take it. It's unclear if this guy was ever captured, but I think I'd be installing another camera. Or six. The video of this home was originally published in December of 2013. The uploader explains that he was woken by someone pounding at his door and ringing the doorbell around 1.35 in the morning, setting off his barking dog alarm. 
He assumes the two guys outside were pleading for help with the intention of entering their home. Luckily, the homeowner's steel front door and his common sense prevented the would-be intruders from taking further action. They eventually left. The whole scenario is terrifying. But a closer look at the security footage that seems to have been captured in the same home two years later in February of 2015 turns up something even creepier. A shadow person seems to manifest on the living room wall and is seen walking from the hallway towards the front door. Is it just some sort of visual remnant of the homeowner on the clip, or did a spirit invade his home when he wasn't looking? Considering both of these insanely creepy incidents, I'd have to agree with Redditor. Just a touch too much who writes simply, time to move. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Bushwookie83, this Redditor wrote, Looks like Mike Myers paying me a visit, WTF is that? Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Amen. Hey man. That is cool. What are you doing? What's going on? You okay? Can I get a wife? There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Duck Consume Bread wrote, Man, I don't know how you could just sit there. I'd already be moved out, lol. Well, Neo One Lone Wolf 6985 wrote, It looks like the reflection of your flashlight on your phone, reflecting on certain parts of the glass, giving off the illusion of a face, actually. Looks like the exact same tattoo I have of Michael Myers on my arm. Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. In the Dominican Republic in April 2013, uploader DR Local encountered a mysterious sea creature. During a scooter-powered night scuba dive, the time was 9.15 p.m., while the depth was 20 meters. The creature was reportedly bony, three quarters of a foot long, with a small head and sharp teeth. It also had translucent fins and a purple and steel sheen-colored body. The mysterious creature swam both backwards and forwards. The dorsal fin helped it maneuver both directions and propelled it at higher speeds moving forwards, which made it appear more eel-like rather than blade-shaped. According to the uploader, what could this eel-like creature be? YouTube commenters, of course, are full of suggestions. Doom Octopus said it looked like a young ore fish, while Zane Reavers said it was a cutlass fish. Both of these seem plausible, but Sampal's suggestion seems to be on the nose. It's a hair tail, very common around Sydney, Australia, usually fished at night by a very dedicated fisherman, very sharp teeth, and not too bad to eat. Whatever the thing is, I wouldn't want to run into it in the depths of the sea at night. This house is most haunted. YouTuber Sandro Silva CS investigates the creepy place in this scary video. When they arrive at the house, they're immediately frightened. But what scared them? Inside, they find no one. But then they hear a noise. And that's not the end of it. Olha, 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 olha,
Was there a spirit in the room with them? Or just a trapped animal? I think the sound is more spirited than scared. In fact, it seems to me like it's wanting to scare us. A YouTuber named C. Codane is with a group of friends who are ready to explore an old creepy tunnel. They keep running out because they think they see something inside, but nothing shows up on camera until their fourth and final attempt. First, they hear it before they see it. It sounds a lot like the other rake videos, in my opinion. But let me know what you hear. They remain at the mouth of the tunnel while the creature slowly walks towards them, making those sounds all the while. They clearly get the creature on video once and for all, but not without risking their lives first. The shrieking monster is all grey and stands upright like a human. It's hard to say whether this was their friend or an actual sewer mutant. Their reactions of excitement and disbelief sound real, at least compared to most other videos, so I'm inclined to believe this was an actual creature they spotted at random. A YouTuber named Izzy Centric is testing out his ghost hunting equipment on a creepy doll that's been possessed by a ghost for over 20 years. He sets the cursed object up in its miniature school desk, hoping to catch the doll moving on camera if possible, and he passes a ghost meter over it that is designed to catch the energy level of any paranormal entities within. Sure enough, his paranormal equipment detects the presence of some creepy stuff lurking within the doll's demonic plastic shell. Is this you here? <gasps> what the? Are you kidding me? Not only does the ghost meter register a positive response, it detects so much paranormal energy in the air that it crackles with an abundance of electricity. <gasps> His wife joins him in the investigation and she's not surprised by the results. It was her doll as a child and it always did creep her out. Now it's her turn to ask questions. Are you still here? It's not doing it anymore. She gets no response from the nightmarish doll, at least not until she takes it upon herself to give it an insult. Oh, little wuss. Say what? I said little wuss. Ooh, didn't like that, did you? The ghost meter lights up angrily at this provocation, which signals to me that this is more than just a coincidence, and almost undoubtedly a doll possessed by scary things you wouldn't want in your home. If this video is paranormal, then hopefully it stays bound to this object and finds no way to get loose. A YouTuber named Gothboy Prince is playing with a Ouija board that refuses to cooperate with the camera. Apparently, the pointer moves on its own, but only when he's not recording. Hello? Knocking on the Ouija board isn't the only way he shows disrespect. He tries to badmouth the spirit into moving the pointer on camera for proof. I think you're a coward. That's what I think it is. I think you're nothing but a coward. Less than 10 seconds later, he gets a silent reply. At one point, Gothboy Prince hears a noise and looks up. You can see that he's sitting in bed with the Ouija board on his lap. There's absolutely no room for anyone to be controlling the pointer with a magnet from underneath, so that explanation is out. You can also see that he is alone and no one is in front of him pulling a string. As if all of this weren't already bizarre enough. You see this? The pointer moves too frequently and in too many different directions to be done with a string, which by the way would be clearly visible from this close of a distance away. Even paranormal skeptics can't explain how this pointer was able to move with no one nearby, but if you think you can, I would really like to hear the real reason. YouTube team Memoria Sober Natural INC enters this haunted school and he encounters the wrath of Lucifer. As he is introducing the place, he quickly realizes he's unwelcome. 
sobrenatural. Rapaz! Opa, 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 opa. Aí estralou aqui, pessoal. Estralou aqui, ó. In that same room, something is hiding. Quanta coisa. Já tiveram aparições aqui, ó. Nesse lugar. Escuta, 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 escuta. Existe algo aqui? Rapaz, olha isso. Something invisible. And it continues to taunt him. Cara, é impressionante, pessoal. Olha isso, olha isso. Whatever is here has trapped a man. And it's playing with his mind. Is Lucifer driving this car? If he is, he's invisible. Nas últimas vezes aqui, pessoal, foi de pedal para as outras. Rapaz! Olha isso! Olha isso! Olha isso, cara! A porta abriu desse jeito! Olha isso! The ghost hunter gets inside the vehicle and is nearly trapped. Não! Cara, olha isso! Olha isso! Olha isso! Olha isso, olha isso pessoal! Ah. Ah. Things just keep getting worse. Isso aqui pra mim, eu peço! How are these big pieces of furniture moving on their own? He sees something in the window of the car. I can't really detect what he's making out here. If anything, I think it's pareidolia, but that definitely doesn't discount all the other paranormal activity we've witnessed here. This looks like a legit haunting to me. I don't know how this would have been orchestrated otherwise. I've analyzed some of Laney and Ben's footage in previous videos, and I'm completely convinced that their home is 100% haunted. Here is yet another video to prove it. Published in November of 2021, the couple is attempting to use an EMF meter to talk to a spirit named Dave, who hangs around their home. Well, usually you'd expect for the meter to go off. That's apparently not the way Dave communicates. Instead, as the couple encourages Dave to communicate with them, setting the meter upright on the table in front of them, the meter is knocked over, causing them both to jump in shock. You might assume that it just fell over, but when you look closely, it certainly appears as though it was thrown down by a malevolent force. Something tells me Dave is the strong, silent type. When strange things start happening inside your house, it's probably for a reason. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by the Dude 101 This video was originally published to YouTube by Truthfinder30330 in April of 2020. According to the title, paranormal occurrences have been happening in this man's home. The first odd thing you notice is that when the man walks into his living room, the door is shut while he's arranging his gaming console and things on his entertainment center. The door opens somehow. He heads over to look outside and check it out. After finding no one, he returns inside and the door slams shut. He goes back outside, but there's no one there, no one inside either. As he's looking around outside again, the door slams shut and he's locked out. He peers inside, but there appears to be nothing. Now he has to go around to get back inside his house. He lifts his camera, catching himself in the sights. 
while also capturing something over his shoulder. What is that? As he continues walking, he says hello to someone on the street. He's at his front door again, which he unlocks with a key, and immediately this happens. Absolutely terrifying. Bet you can't handle this video. When a YouTuber named Side Dreams hears that a clown is nearby, he and his friend decide to jump in the car and track it down. They think they see something in the cornfield and pull over to investigate. Out of the car, they are ambushed from behind. Get in here! What the f Go, 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 go! Oh, oh my god! Go, go, go! Oh my, oh my, my god! god. Someone rushes out to them wearing a bright orange wig and holding some sort of pole or even a spear. What's really crazy is that it seems to be able to keep up with the car for much longer than any human being should be able to. This person is either full of adrenaline or not of this world. This bizarre video was taken while exploring the woods of Amherst, Massachusetts, in a place that's known for witch sightings and strange ritualistic activity. Someone, perhaps a group, has carefully arranged branches into a makeshift hut. The leaves have mostly fallen off, but it's easy to see how this could have been some kind of shelter during the warmer months. Inside are hanging ornaments of twisted twigs bound together into strange symbols. These stones are all about the same size and have been laid at the base as part of a possible ritual. While further inspecting the hovel, they catch a strange figure running away from the hut into the woods at full speed, but they dare not pursue lest they want a hex placed on their head. The Jagged Things crew visited a haunted hotel in this paranormal investigation. A few things happened while exploring the home that they didn't notice until watching the video back. The first occurs behind Linda. Watch closely. Did you see that? It looks like something passes behind her. Here it is, more slowly. <laughs> To me, it looks like it could just be the backlighting from the window distorted by Linda's position in front of the doorway and the movement of the camera. But this isn't the only spooky thing to occur. Watch the door at the end of the hall. And here's a close-up. Although it's more interesting to think this was paranormal, I have to admit it could also be a draft. Still, both are great captures. What do you think is going on here? EVPs were captured through a live radio during a live stream by YouTube team Ghost Adventures of Cornwall, and these things are eerie. <laughs> See, who's that laughing? Who are you? I'm laughing again. Who are you? First the word heaven is heard, then the laughter. A moment later it says the words proper demon. Was that you? Proper demon? What? But here's where it gets truly creepy. Yeah. This game. The nails. Skin and the nails? What? Skin and nails? Does this demon of Cornwall want your skin and nails? I think it does, and it might be taking your soul with them. Champ is the name of a giant creature thought to lurk in Lake Champlain, a 125 long body of fresh water bordering New York, Vermont, and Quebec. It starts out small and then shows more of itself, and I think I see and hear air bubbles. The way this thing moves is nothing like a piece of driftwood. This appears to be a living creature capable of changing directions and diving. And there's more air bubbles. Mm -hmm. 
maybe these legends had some truth to them after all. Or so this video would make us believe. Bugs are awful on their own, but swarms of them. What a nightmare. Published to YouTube in June of 2018, Phelan Fairchild writes that mayflies swarm in from the lake every year and have to be snowplowed off roads and walkways. The video shows Fairchild's front desk absolutely littered with the bugs. At first you think they're a pile of fall leaves or other debris, but upon closer inspection, you can see as Fairchild points out, hundreds of thousands of bugs all over the place. They're on the deck floor, on the front door, on the window, and on the entire exterior of this poor woman's house. Fairchild notes that the spiders are having a heyday with this. You can't look away from this creepy sight. Fairchild says that it stinks and will be hard to clean up. It's not noted where she lives, but mayflies do appear near fresh water and are signs of a healthy water ecosystem. Swarms like this one can last for up to a month. Seems like a summer holiday abroad is in order. This paranormal investigation takes place in an abandoned building in Indonesia. I can't tell what is being said, but you don't need words to tell this person is being relentlessly stalked by something not of this world. First they play some kind of song which I think is meant to summon spirits. A short while later a shadow person peeks around the corner and appears where his thumb is. If somebody could please translate what is being said here, then maybe it could help us piece together what this video is all about. <laughs> I don't think he noticed anything at first, but this is the exact moment he sees the spirit. Again, please translate if you can, and tell me if you think he sounds sincere or if he is acting. The way he turns and bolts without saying a word is very realistic, so I'm inclined to believe this is not a joke. And when he looks again, the ghost is up way high in the left corner. I think he is losing his mind at this point and he squats in the corner too high. He thinks he is safe, but the door opens and closes by itself and a strange mist floats up towards the knob. He runs away and stops to look around, panting, completely out of breath and scared senseless. This faint moan before the video ends makes me think he did not make it out alive. <sighs> Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.